Hey, what's up? Yesterday we posted a video about one of the most interesting budget smartphones at the beginning of 2022. It is called Infinix Hot 11s. You can watch it by the link in description. I also have another new smartphone from Infinix company, and it is even cheaper than the previous smartphone I have tested. Only $120. You know, it is called Infinix Hot 11 Play. And I thought it was a gaming smartphone. However, it has very weak performance for 2022. Overall, the smartphone has many flaws, and I wouldn't recommend buying it. Before we begin, let's have you subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers and hit the bell icon to receive notifications about the new videos. Ok, if we have already started talking about games, let's begin the review with hardware, benchmarks and games. Infinix Hot 11 Play is powered by Hilo G35 processor. The manufacturer says that this is a gaming chipset, but I don't understand why, because the performance in games is quite low. By the way, a smartphone is available in a single version with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal memory. As you can see, a maximum graphics in PUBG Mobile is balanced and FPS is medium. You know, the graphics is quite low, and I think that this could be because of HD Plus display resolution. We will talk about screen a little later. However, in general, it is quite comfortable to play PUBG Mobile on Infinix Hot 11 Play smartphone. The graphics in Asphalt 9 and Call of Duty is also weak, but performance is ok. On the other hand, if you want to play heavier games on the new Infinix smartphone, for example, Genshin Impact, it will be difficult to do. Infinix Hot 11 Play runs Genshin Impact, and that's very good, but it's not comfortable to play. The game always lags and glitches. As for the benchmarks, Infinix smartphone has only 113,000 points in end to do. I think it is a very low result even for budget smartphone in 2022. For example, I tested Infinix Hot 11S yesterday. It is only $20 more expensive than Infinix Hot 11 Play, but it has 218,000 points in end to do. In general, the performance of Infinix Hot 11S is much higher than Infinix Hot 11 Play. You can also see the other benchmarks results of the new Infinix smartphone. Keep talking about performance, a user interface looks pretty good, but the apps and menus open with a little delay. It is not a big problem. A user interface of Infinix Hot 11 Play is XOS 7.6. It is based on Android 11 operating system. There are many useful apps such as Cleaner, Power Marathon, XOS Family Apps, and even Game Zone. By the way, I run all the games before through the Game Zone. The smartphone even has some kind of widgets, such as tabs, weather, used RAM, recent apps, and hot news. However, you cannot change them. Overall, the interface is nice, and it runs smooth. Now, let's talk about display. It is really big, 6.82 inches. 
However, the resolution is only HD+. You know, the screen of Infinix Hot 11 Play is even bigger than Infinix Hot 11s NFC. But uh, that smartphone has a Full HD Plus resolution and a 90Gz refresh rate. I run the same videos on these mobile devices. As you can see, Infinix Hot 11s NFC has much better display. To be honest, I don't know why Infinix Hot 11 Play has such a big display, but only HD Plus resolution. I think it would be better to make a smaller screen, 6.5 inches maximum. Talking about design, Infinix Hot 11 Play looks very similar to Infinix Hot 11s. The body is made of the same glossy plastic, but it is not slippery. That's very important for such a big smartphone. On the rear panel we can see dual camera and flashlight. In the center there is a fingerprint reader. You know, it's been a long time since I have seen a fingerprint scanner on the back of smartphone. The models in 2021 and 2022 have built-in power button fingerprint scanner. To be honest, I don't like the way it looks. It is a little outdated, isn't it? However, the biggest problem and the main shame of this smartphone is micro USB charging port. Are you serious? I had already forgotten about this USB standard, and you are using it in a smartphone of early 2022. This is a great shame. From other side, Infinix Hot 11 Play has 3.5mm audio jack. That's a good thing for some people, but it also reminds me of the past, when people use an audio jack for connection wired earphones. In 2022, all the people use wireless earphones, and they don't need an audio jack. There is no speaker at the bottom of smartphone. You also won't find it on the top or back panel. In fact, if that smartphone uses an earpiece as a speaker, I cannot say it is a problem, because the speaker is very loud and pretty good quality. However, it is very unusual. On the right side of the smartphone, there is a volume rocker and power button. You know, I am surprised by a dedicated slot for microSD memory card and this mobile device, so you can use dual SIM and memory card at the same time. As for the comfort of use, the smartphone has a curved back panel and a thin body. It is made of glossy plastic, and unlike the glass, it doesn't slip. That's very good. However, because of the big display, it is impossible to use the smartphone with one hand. By the way, a camera module doesn't bump a lot from the rear panel, but the smartphone is still wobbly. Talking about camera, Infinix Hot 11 Play has only 13 megapixels main sensor and a second AI camera on the rear panel. The manufacturer says that AI camera is used for magic portrait photos. On the front panel, there is 8 megapixels camera. In the camera app, there are many shooting modes and functions. You can use a slow motion, video and AI camera modes, beauty, portrait and AR shot. By the way, a maximum video resolution is 1080p. In general, the camera of Infinix Hot 11 Play makes good photos and videos day and night. It looks like there is even an image stabilization, because the video footage is quite smooth. However, I can get rid of the thought that there is only one 13 megapixels camera. I don't know how to use the second AI sensor. Well, other budget smartphones have 20, 48, 50 megapixels main sensor and wide-angle cameras. Here we have only one 13 megapixel sensor.
The battery should be the main feature of this smartphone. But it is not all the good here either. The battery really has a large capacity of 6000 mAh. The battery life is very long, almost 12 hours and 39 minutes. You can use a smartphone for 2 or even 3 days on a single charge. However, as I already said, Infinix Hot 11 Play has only micro USB charging port. The full battery charge took 4 hours and 4 minutes. That's very, very long for a smartphone in 2022. So Infinix Hot 11 Play looks very controversial. I don't recommend to buy it, because it has only HD Plus display, micro USB charging port, a single 13 megapixels main camera, weak performance in heavy games, and a very long battery charge. However, there are some good things, such as a large screen, a very nice user interface with many useful apps and functions, dedicated slot for micro USB memory card, and a very big battery. In addition, the design and build quality are good for the budget smartphone. Anyway, I recommend you to add 20 or 30 dollars and buy Infinix Hot 11s. It has much better performance. You can play heavy games such as Genshin Impact, Full HD+, 90 kHz display, 50 megapixels triple camera, and 5000 mAh power battery with 18 watt fast charging support. What do you think about Infinix Hot 11 Play? Would you buy it? To be honest, I am still shocked by micro USB charging part. Thank you for watching. See you soon.